Hello everyone, there is a reason I have my electric instead of my acoustic, and um, if you didn't guess that was uh, 8 days a week by the Beatles, it's Beatles week, yay, okay, yeah, um, we're all excited about that. Anyway, this intro, um, if you if you only have an acoustic guitar, you might not be able to play this intro, um, you couldn't probably play it some other way, like down here, up a whole step, up another whole step and a half, or something like that. It might not sound the greatest, though. Um, if you can't play it, my best bet, or my best suggestion would be just um, ignore it, just axie hole intro, and um, just start out with, ooh, I need your lovin'. Um, so let's get right into this here. Um, after I'm done with this intro, I'll switch to my acoustic so maybe you can hear a little better and uh, get a little better sound. So let's see here. Got to get in pretty close here on this one. Now, this intro starts out with a um, D add 9, which basically you're up here on the 10th fret. And it's kind of like a, an F down here except it's all the way up here on the 10th fret so high E is going to be open you're going to put your uh, index on the 10th fret of the B your middle finger on the um, 11th fret of the G and then your ring finger on the 12th of the D and you're not going to play the low E or the A So that's a little um, four measure or four beat thing. One, two, four. Then you're going to go to an E. You just slide it up a whole step. So your index is going to be on this twelfth fret, and then add these two um, after it. And then we're going to go to a um, G six chord. And you basically you slide it up again, and that's um. Let me check here. Yep, that's all the way up here on the 15th fret. So you slide it up, like this is an E. So this would be an F, and then up another whole step, G. So your index is going to be on the B string on the 15th fret, um, 16th fret with the middle finger, and then uh, 17th with your ring finger on the D string and then back down to this D that we started out with. That's the intro. And then from there, um, you won't have to switch guitars. I'm going to just because the acoustic has a better sound on these videos and um, that's kind of the point of using the acoustic. I'm doing chords and stuff, and it doesn't really make sense to show you chords and everything on the electric when it's really the exact same, and I could get better sound quality doing this. So, okay, after that little intro is done, it starts out with, Ooh, I need your love, babe. And yes, I do, don't you know? So, that ooh, when you say ooh, D chord. Um, middle finger on the second fret of the E, ring finger on the third fret of the B, and then index on the second fret of the G. Ooh, I need your love, babe. When you say love, you're going to switch to an E7. Um, the way it's played in the song is a normal E chord, first finger on, or first index finger on the first fret of the G, uh, ring finger on the second fret of the D, and then uh, middle finger on the second fret of the A. That's your normal E, but then we're also going to put this pinky finger on the third fret of the B, and give it that little twang. Now you can also do an E7 by removing your index, your ring finger, so it's only first uh, index on first fret of the G and 
middle on the on the middle finger on the second fret of the A. It's the same sound. That's just a higher sound. So you can do it either way. The second way I showed you with just two fingers might be a little easier if you can't get the hang of uh, putting all four fingers on the board there and then strumming it right. But uh, it's all up to you, so. But it's D, that E7. Then, guess you know it's true. Guess G, you know it's true. Back to your D chord. And then it repeats. And then, that's your first verse. You're done with your first verse. Woo, all right. Um, then we get to the chorus. Um, and that starts out with Hold Me, Love Me. Please. Um, Hold Me, Love Me is B minor. Hold Me, Love Me is G. But what I like to do with this is instead of playing your open G, I like to do a G bar chord. That way you have more control over it and get a little more rhythm in there and make it sound a little cooler. And it might might make it a little more interesting for the crowd or whoever you're playing this for. So hold me, love me, hold me. Back down to E. Love me. I ain't back to a D. I ain't got nothing but love, babe. Back to a E7. G days a week, a D. G days a D. Then you go right back to the verse. And that's how it goes with every single verse and every single um, chorus. They're all the same except for on the last chorus, you just go eight days a week. Eight days a week. Do the intro again for the outro which is way up here so I won't show you that again you just rewind it if you really want to but um, outro and that's the end of the song but there is one other part there is um, the middle as this book refers to it and um, that's the eight days a week and that starts out on A A as you might know is um, there's just the second fret on the B G and D strings a days a week, B minor, I love, love, love you. E, A days a week, is G enough to A I care? And then back to D, into the verse. Do I need your love, babe? Yes, you know it's true. It's just straight to E from the B minor. Um, so yeah, I will run through that really quick again. Uh, the verse is D, E7, just a normal E chord with that third fret on the B pushed. G, D, D, E7 again. E7, G, D, chorus. B minor, me, G, me, B minor, me, E, me, D, nothing but love, girl, G, A, days, or D, and then A, days, a week, I'll be B minor, B minor, B minor, E, 
days a week Cause she had enough to be on the king And then back into the verse um, The song is pretty long I imagine if you listen to it um, You could figure it out But um, it goes uh, Verse, chorus Verse, chorus um, That eight days a week I love you That middle part I showed you um, and then verse, chorus, middle, verse, chorus, and then outro. So intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, ver middle, verse, chorus, middle, verse, chorus, outro. And the intro is the exact same thing as an outro, except uh, you just hold it and freeze frame on that last chord. to do on acoustic without a cutout, but um, I think you get the idea. Um, it's a fun song to play if you can get the hang of all the chords and everything, and um, I'm sure it, it's, oh, it's a very good song. It's a classic, of course. Um, who can who can deny that classic Beatles are, is, a, is bad music? You, you just can't, but... Um, if you like the videos, if you want more, if you want to make an, a, su a suggestion for a song after I'm done with Beatles Week, woo, uh, let me know. Send me a message, comment on this video, um, drop me a line, find me, send me a letter, punch me in the face, whatever you gotta do, get my attention. I will certainly get back to you and I will probably be able to do whatever song you want. Most likely I will just do chords for now. Um, if there are any solos to the song, I will make a second video about that part. I plan on doing that for the rest of these um, videos. If there's any like electric guitar parts or riffs that need to be learned, like for uh, I'm Looking Through You, there's a few parts, and just random things like that. And uh, yeah, that's about all I got to say. Subscribe, comment, like, whatever you want to do. I'll see you for the next Beatles Week. Woo! video.